Shortly after entering the back alleys, there's a fork in the path that will take the player to a dead end. Aerith remarks that the area was previously under construction, but that it was abandoned halfway through. A quick exploration of the site will show it contains the shells and parts of numerous missiles, shuttles and aircraft. I spoke in the last episode about the unexploded rocket in the church and how it related to Sid Highwind. This appears to be an extension of the Shinra Corporation's testing grounds for airborne weapons or craft, more specifically, the testing of propulsion. And how do we know this? Well, first of all, there's the nearby crash landing at the church. Secondly, up until four and a half years ago, Shinra was focused on its space program. Before Crisis Episode 15 actually gives the exact date when Sid's failed rocket launch occurs, while a disgruntled pilot at Shinra HQ during Crisis Core confirms Captain Highwind had been selected to be the first man in space at least two years before that. Aerith's comments about construction here quitting halfway through does reflect the company ditching the Shinra 26 mission after the failed launch. As if to verify this, there is a rocket engine in the corner which perfectly matches the types used on Shinra 26. Many more of these can also be found elsewhere in the scrapyard. Of particular interest are those at the foot of Steel Mountain, along with the remains of what may or may not have been an engine nozzle for the space rocket. 